Hi, folks. I'm Katina Papson Rigby. And I'm Susan Morisoli. And we are here with Frank Crosby as well. Yes, IGPS, Inspire Growth, Passion, Success. So ISKME challenged us to answer the question last year, can we create ways to assess learning geared to making tangible progress towards meaningful goals? Tangible progress, meaningful goals, we were not sure what that meant. So we asked ourselves um, and got to a different place. Our collab efforts led to this refinement. Can we inspire students to seek growth, passion, and success in their learning activities and create meaningful assessment of their efforts? This is learning beyond reading, writing, and arithmetic. Learning that is multidimensional, dynamic, and fluid. Learning that gives people the skills and awareness to meet today's and tomorrow's academic and life challenges. IGPS begins as a learning and assessment model that builds on partnership for 21st century skills. It merges traditional 3R based learning with collaboration, communication, creativity, critical thinking, and citizenship, the five C's. IGPS is students working in learning communities to create awareness and develop skills for successful interpersonal connections and productive learning a process that teaches a community of students the importance of acknowledging and rewarding the help and support they give each other as they learn together. So Children's Day School in San Francisco and Jordan Middle School in Palo Alto, our schools, were the IGPS pilot sites. And at each site, students took ownership of the five C's by building knowledge and teaching one another the concepts, the C concepts. And here's a picture of kids at Jordan Middle School. They combine the C's with communication studies using the collab structure. They created mock advertising firms and learned how to produce engaging marketing campaigns. And at Children's Day School, students combine the C's with civic studies to learn about the voting process and to collaborate with San Francisco Office of Elections to register voters. So at each site, the students used a combination of self and peer assessment to evaluate, acknowledge, and reward one another on how effectively they worked both in the classroom and in their communities. To honor one another, students created and passed back and forth acknowledgement cards for each C. And we have a little bit of footage for you from Jordan Middle School. Uh, these are sixth grade students sharing their C acknowledgements. member by looking at your notes. So I bet you already did, but now you're going through and you're looking and you're kind of averaging it out. You're thinking, what were they really, what did I notice that they did the most? Okay? So you're going to be giving, if you have five people in your group, you're going to be awarding four different cards. So you think to yourself, which, yeah, I'm going to give you guys these cards you're going to write on. I noticed Kaylin used creativity when she made a cool front screen slide that really showed our slogan and, and um, our team name really well. I noticed Millie used collaboration when someone changed the color of her slide and she didn't like it, so we all changed the color we all approved on. Thank you. Sure. Um, I noticed Millie used collaboration for like going with anything, like whatever choice we had, like if it was a good choice, she'd totally go with that. Thank you. It was kind of hard though, because seeing everybody's slides, you almost wanted to award everybody creativity and communication. You're like, I want to award everybody everything, but then you got deeper thinking and you um, got thinking of like what they did best. We all used some critical thinking. I know we all used it, but just to think of like when we used it. Mm -hmm. CDS students gain the awareness and skills that made them active participants in our in a political process. And Jordan students discovered meaningful interaction, collaboration, and learning can happen when people connect person to person without the intervention of technology. The rewards and results were astounding and went beyond our expectations. What started out as an as assessment tool has become a movement. 
IGPS is not an application. In our technology-based culture in which we're seduced into believing that we're not smart unless we use a smart device to interact. IGPS is a return to the direct, non-technology, mediated communication. And as IGPS evolved for all of us, we discovered that it's more than a learning and assessment model for schools. It's a dynamic process that can be used to facilitate group unity, resolve conflict, and create organizational cultures based on the Cs. So what's next for IGPS as a learning and assessment model? Here's what we need. We need K-12 teachers and higher education instructors to help pilot IGPS and help us develop and refine our model. We need input from academic administrators and managers on how to generate resources and to support and support for IGPS. And we need help from game designers to develop the acknowledgement cards and reward process. And as part of that ask, we ask you to use IPGS while you are here. We have left packets of cards, they look like this, on your tables, and we'd like you to acknowledge each other with these cards by simply jotting down a note and handing it to a colleague, or even give a shout out acknowledgement through a tweet. So it's our turn to acknowledge. We'd like to acknowledge everyone who helped us, um, especially Isk Me and Elizabeth Doty for this incredible opportunity. You all excel in the five C's. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Ha, ha, ha.